In this video, you'll find out why the new moon in Libra is calling us to go inward and let go of the outcome. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Gia. I teach meditation, I channel cosmic insights from the universe, and I'm a sound healer using my voice and a special instrument of the day. And today I have my beautiful Koshi chimes with me. So after we meditate, I'll give you a little sound healing treat. Today we're meditating on the new moon in Libra, which is happening on Friday, October 16th, 2020. Now, October is a very intense month in the stars. We have two full moons. The first one was on October 1st. The last one is on Halloween, October 31st. It's a blue moon. Smack dab in the middle is this new moon in Libra. So that means the sun and moon are both in the air sign of Libra. Libra is all about balance, harmony, justice, fairness. And so it's a beautiful sign for working on our relationships, working on having inner peace and harmony and balance within ourselves. But this isn't just your average new moon in Libra because we also have Mars retrograde right now, as well as Mercury newly retrograde right now. So that's kind of creating a little bit of a swirl of chaos right now, since we're in an air sign in Libra season there's definitely a lot of shifting energies. The big three planets that have been retrograde, Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter are all moving forward now. So we will feel a shift moving us forward. But with Mars retrograde and Mercury retrograde, there's definitely a pull to go inward still, to tap into our intuition and work on our inner balance and to just let the energy resolve and settle outside of us. I was working with a spiritual coaching client recently, and we were talking about how it just feels like there is a swirl of chaos right now energetically. This month of October represents change. So if you're feeling the swirl of chaos too, I suggest that you just try to sit back and let the energy do what it wants to do. Instead of micromanaging every outcome or trying to understand everything you're experiencing or analyze it, let's just let the chips fall where they may and let's really lean into our higher power right now that the energy has an intelligence of its own. The universe is conducting these changes on our behalf. And so we don't have to have control over everything going on. We don't have to understand and have reasons for everything going on. In fact, the less we micromanage the details of how everything is shifting right now in our lives, the more we can step back into peace, into harmony and balance, which is what Libra represents. So as much as our minds want to have answers and reasons and understand every single thing happening right now in our world and in our own lives, this is a time to retreat and go inward into your own sense of clarity and peace and just allow the shifts around you to take place really trusting in your angels right now, really trusting in the universe that there is a higher plan and everything is working out according to that plan. You get to enjoy the ride and just take care of yourself right now. Now, if you watched my recent full moon meditation for the full moon in Aries on October 1st, you know that I coined that full moon, the OFG moon. In other words, zero given. This still applies, I think, for the month of October. It's a time to really honor your boundaries. Say no a lot. You know, just really honor where you're at, honor your energy, get plenty of rest, get plenty of space, and that will help improve your relationships and bring more harmony as well. So OFG, let go of whatever isn't serving you right now and just focus on those things that really bring you home within and help you feel like you are in your highest power, you are in your higher self. The last thing I want to add is something that came to me intuitively recently, and it's a topic I have talked about before, but I feel like it's super important right now in our world for all of us to tap into this inner wisdom that anything we've ever felt that was blissful, joyful, happy, successful, those are all our feelings, our vibrations. Those are all energies we cultivated inside. 
It wasn't the outer circumstances of our lives that gave us those feelings. It may seem like that, right? We associate some experience with giving us a positive feeling, but we're the ones who own and create those feelings. And so to take our power back from the outside world and from the circumstances of life is to say, I don't need something amazing to happen outside of me for me to feel amazing in here. I get to feel like I'm in love, no matter if I'm single or not. I get to feel successful, no matter if I just got the promotion or not. I get to feel creative and happy because I am the machine of the feelings. I am the maker of the bliss. And so this is a super important time right now to let chaos happen outside of you if it is pull back in and be the creator of your own bliss. Really take ownership of the energy you keep and know that the highest highs you've ever felt are yours to keep and yours to recreate and revisit. Talk to your angels, talk to the universe about this and say, hey, show me where I can tap into those feelings again because it's not something outside of you happening a certain way. It's all in here. You are the alchemist and the creator of the greatest joy and the most beautiful energy that you'd ever want to experience. So if you've been there to that top floor of the building, right, where you can just see so clearly and you just have such a gorgeous vision of life, that is your perspective to have and to keep you can get back there. Choose it now. This is the time to really own your perspective and know that it's not about life going your way. It's about you tapping into your power and intentionally choosing the perspective and the energy you'd like to carry with you. Okay, guys, before we meditate on the new moon in Libra, I would like to thank all my patrons who donate to my YouTube channel, especially my newest patron, Shelly Buck. Yay! Thank you so much, Shelly, and all my patrons who donate to support this channel. If you too love my work and want to support me in doing my meditation videos, creating my content, you can donate through Patreon. Just go to patreon.com forward slash Divinely Gia, and in exchange for your monthly donation, you will not only get rewards from me, such as courses I've created, exclusive meditation content, and a shout out in the next video. You'll have opportunities to connect with me more one-on-one. -on -one. I do spiritual coaching and intuitive healing. So if you love my work and want to donate and get some rewards, go to patreon.com forward slash divinely Gia. And thank you, Shelly. Thank you all of my patrons. I love you guys so much. Okay, everybody, let's pull some oracle cards for this new moon in Libra. I decided to consult with the archangels because we are in an air sign right now. Sun and moon are in air. So I thought it would be good to tap into some, some angelic wisdom. Here is the guidebook for the archangel oracle deck. I'll put a link to that deck in the description if you'd like to order these oracle cards. So let's all tune in as we really, really call upon our angels right now to guide us for this new moon in Libra. There's so much uncertainty in the world. There is so much change happening. And so it's a time for just trusting the divine. So we ask you angels for any messages of wisdom for this new moon in Libra right now. Okay, I pulled two cards in one. Nurture, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Oh my God, what a gorgeous card. I love that image. And I definitely feel like nurturing is such a Libra energy of just like harmony, balance within, love, kindness. So this is a beautiful time to really just tap into your inner child and do those nurturing things that help you feel loved and protected and nourished. And we don't need the outside world to be different in order for us to feel really safe and just peaceful within. Another child card. The first one said inner child, you know, nurturing the inner child. And this is indigo and crystal children from Archangel Metatron. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. 
Whoa, that's crazy. We have two cards surrounding crystal or indigo children slash the inner child. So the other thing about the inner child is that it's very playful. It is connected to spirit. It's our it's our way that we actually find our deepest wisdom and our intuition is by being playful and creative inside. So if you have children in your world, this is a beautiful calling to tap into their inner magic and play with them and give them all of your light and encouragement. If you don't have a lot of children around, this is a time for you to tap into your own inner child, be playful, find the magic in life. That's gonna help us stay really light and high vibe as things are starting to shift in our world, continuing to shift in our world. So the rest of 2020 is gonna be interesting and if we can stay light and playful, connecting to that inner child-like spirit, I think that will really help. Okay, let's see what our third card is. I don't think there's any more children cards in the deck. <laughs> Brilliant idea, Archangel Uriel. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. Beautiful card for the new moon because new moons are all about new beginnings. So this is another one tapping into creativity right now. It's saying you have an inspiration, you have an intuitive idea, trust it, go with it. Trust your creative urges and inspirations. I love that, so playful and light. We have nurture, indigo and crystal children and brilliant idea. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and get ready to meditate. So find a comfortable seat or you can lay down on your back if that's better for your body. And when you have arrived, just close your eyes and begin to deeply relax. Given that it is Libra season and we have a Libra new moon, this is an air energy. So our breath is so, so vitally important right now for balancing the energy of the body. So let's really start to breathe deeper. And we'll just set the intention of balancing the inhalation with the exhalation so they're equally long, deep, and smooth. Notice that inflowing breath, expanding the body, and then relax with the outflowing breath. Inhale, expand, and exhale, let go. And I'd like you to invite more softness into your body with each beautiful breath. It's as if when you inhale, your body just softens and expands to receive this beautiful open breath. And as you exhale, every muscle becomes softer. Even your emotions become softer. Your thoughts become softer. So we breathe in and we just receive this gorgeous opening breath. We breathe out and become nice and soft and relaxed. Breathing in a sweet, harmonious energy. And breathing out, letting go of any need to grasp or control in life. Let's do that again. Inhale, be open to receiving what life is bringing you. And exhale, just let go of the need to control or micromanage things right now. Inhale, we turn our palms upward to receive. Exhale, we really open our hands to say we release our grasp of control. We are open, we're letting go. A few more beautiful breaths. Letting go with the exhale. Inhale, receive softness, balance, harmony. Exhale, release any need to control or grasp. 
keep that breath flowing now, just at whatever pace feels soothing to you. And we'll breathe now into the heart, which is the seat, the source of the inner child, our playful, innocent nature. With each breath, we'll just lighten up the heart space. As we saw in our angel cards, there's an emphasis right now on the magic of the childlike spirit and nurturing the inner child. So let's really breathe into the heart as if to give our inner child a beautiful hug to say, I'm here with you. I'm here to nurture and care for you. I'm here to create with you, get inspired with you, dream with you, right? Children have such beautiful dreams, inspirations, ideas, because they're so tapped into the creative flow of the divine. So think of those dreams you've always had since you were young. Let's breathe into those dreams in the heart. And find that brilliant idea, that inspiration that's calling you forward. Maybe it's something you're here to share. Maybe it's something you're here to discover. Something you're here to try or to see. Breathe into your heart and find that calling, that light that just gives you such purpose and such hope and really just helps you follow your dreams like a guiding light. And as we focus so intently upon the heart, it's as if the outside world is just fading away into the background of our awareness. And really the only universe we're concerned about is the universe within. Because all of our magical feelings are inside. All of our bliss and joy is inside. Nothing outside of us is the creator of our happiness. We are. In our hearts, in our bellies, in our minds, let's create the most wonderful feelings of bliss and gratitude, joy and compassion, creativity and inspiration. Just like when you were a child and you literally believed in magic and you lived in a magical fantasy world, let's tap into that source of creative inspiration because it's true. We are the master of our own universe and so we get to choose what our universe is made of and how it looks. We do so with our intention to create beautiful energy inside, beautiful feelings, beautiful thoughts. So maybe your energy field right now in your body is filled with flowers and rainbows or butterflies or the most gorgeous mountains or a beautiful stream or it's like a galaxy with glittering stars. Whatever image speaks to you, paint the most beautiful picture inside so that you know how powerful and magical you truly are. Your feelings are your feelings to have and to create and to be with. So paint the most beautiful feelings inside and then share them with your world. Come from within first and then go outward and share your beauty and your light with the world. Be with these beautiful energies inside of you and be with your angels now as you just give up anything you cannot figure out right now, anything you don't have the answers to, anything you don't have control over right now, give it all up to your angels and say, please, please deal with this for me on my behalf for my highest good. I do not know what is meant to come. I do not know what is meant to be. And so I surrender the outcome to you, the universe, my highest guiding light. Show me the way. I give all my problems and questions back to you to resolve on my behalf while I work on harmonizing the energy inside of me, tapping into my childlike spirit and creating from a gorgeous inspiration inside. 
spend this time now with your beautiful energy and with your angels as you listen to my Koshi Chimes. Take another loving breath into your heart. Find that light inside and let it guide you forward. Join palms together in front of the heart. Thanking our angels and guides today. Thanking the universe for all of the inspiration, the hope, the guidance. As we truly surrender all the outcomes right now and just stay in a space of joy and creativity. From my light, my heart to yours, I bow to you all, honoring the divine that you are, and I thank you for your presence in this world, shining your light and your gifts for all. Blessed be, namaste. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that meditation today. I am feeling very light, very graceful, very playful with my childlike spirit guiding the way, and I hope you do too. If you enjoyed the meditation, like this video, write me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys and definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to hear from me more often, follow me on Instagram because I post there more regularly. And if you love my work and want to support me through Patreon, you can make a donation and get your rewards. Just go to patreon.com forward slash divinely Gia. I'm wishing you all such a healing, harmonious, and blissful new moon in Libra. Take your time, nurture yourself, focus on your internal universe, and just let the world play out as it will. I promise you everything is working out for the highest good. Love you guys all so much. I'll see you soon.